Hello and welcome to my channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can install and run FileZilla software in your Android using Win Xagger emulator application. So, without any wasting of time, let's get into the video. There are a lot of lot of videos on my channel that I have shown how you can run any PC software in your Android. I have shown Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and uh, a file explorer internet explorer i have shown many many softwares on my android so this is the another video i am bringing on my channel in this video i am going to show how you can install and run filezilla software in your android using exeger emulator application so filezilla is a ftp software file transfer protocol software so basically this is the server software in this sort i don't know more about this software but uh, every oh, you can use this software if you know about this and if you are the require of if you are the requirement of the software you can use it in android so let me just show you how you can install it so i have downloaded the official version of the filezilla the downloading in the description I have provided the DOM official website of the FileZilla. You can check out there and download from there. And the second thing you have to download and install the Xagger Windows emulator application. I have made a separate tutorial video on I have shown how you can install it and uh, use it the Xagger emulator application. You can check out my channel. So first of all, you have to open the Xagger application. So this is the Xagger application and I have shown a lot of lot of videos. I have installed a lot of software here as you can see. They are typing master uh, cs counter strike game photoshop i've shown a lot of uh, tutorials on my channel on my channel you can check out my channel so after opening exeget you have to just click to manage container you get uh, click to run explorer so it will going to landscape the phone uh, turn, so let me just uh, turn, uh, turn the android phone set up the camera so and come as back you can see in the screen this is the uh, desktop of the uh with exeger emulator application and this is the file manager uh one thing i have uh, forget to told you after downloading the filezilla software setup file you have to paste it in the download folder so the exeger will going to open the uh, download folder as a t drive so as you can see this is the t drive and this is the download folder of my android in internal storage so i've put it to the uh, filezilla setup file in the download folder so i can access it here now I am going to open the FileZilla. So as you can see, this is the FileZilla setup file. So this is the official version of the software. Now I am going to open it. So as you can see, this is the installation process has been started. Now it's telling me to agree the license. So this is the official version. I'll just click to agree. So it will asking me to choose the installation option. Anyone can use this computer or only for me. So I'm um, let me just uh, put it on the anyone who can use this computer. So let me just click to next, and I make sure to uh, and I make sure to click on the desktop icon. So it will going to create the desktop icon on the uh, de uh, desktop of this uh, emulator. So just just click to install. So as you can see, I have uh, done all the settings and it will installing here. So it will going to take some time to install here. So there are a lot of uh, uh, users of FileZilla. So that's why I'm showing. So there are some people who don't have PC and can't afford the PC, but they have Android phone. While using this pro procedure, you they can use the FileZilla software fully working in Android, and the internet's also perfectly working with the the software and the Xagger. So this is the uh, server software perfectly working. So as you can see, it's installed. Now I have. Uh, check it start file zero now so just click to finish so let me just minimize uh, the file manager and wait and wait until the filezilla software open here so as you can see the filezilla software has been open here for the first time so as you can see there are a lot of features i don't know more about the software but i have shown how you can install it now you can use it if it doesn't work let me know in the comments i try to fix your problem so as you can see this is the filezilla software successfully installed here so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have any question or problem let me know in the comments thank you